Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 5 minus x is equal to 5 minus x squared. We need to find all possible values of x. Since uh, this expression 5 minus x is under square root. So, this uh, 5 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. If you move this uh, negative x to the right hand side, then 5 must be greater than or equal to x. It means uh, x must be less than or equal to 5. And because the left hand side of this equation must be greater than or equal to 0, the right hand side 5 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0. 5 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0. If you move this uh, negative x squared to the right hand side, then 5 must be greater than or equal to x squared. It means uh, x squared must be less than or equal to 5. So, we have uh, two conditions for checking the solutions of uh, this equation. First one is uh, x must be less than or equal to 5 and the second one is x squared must be less than or equal to 5. Now, let us square both sides of uh, this equation. Square root of 5 minus x is equal to 5 minus x squared. We square both sides of uh, this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, 5 minus x is equal to this uh, 5 minus x squared whole squared is equal to 5 squared minus 2 times x squared times 5 plus uh, x squared whole squared. Now, we move uh, this 5 and this negative x to the right hand side. We write this uh, 5 squared first, 5 squared minus 2 times x squared times 5. This uh, positive 5 will become negative 5 at right side and this uh, x squared uh, whole squared will become plus x to the power 4 and this uh, negative x will become plus x at the right side is equal to 0. Next 5 squared. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 5. Negative in bracket we write 2 x squared plus 1 negative 5 as common factor plus this x to the power 4 plus x is equal to 0. Now, this 5 squared is same as 1 time 5 squared. Now, this equation is a quadratic equation in terms of 5. In this equation, this 1 is as a, this negative 2 x squared plus 1 is as b this uh, plus uh, x to the power 4 plus x is as c. Now, according to quadratic formula 5 is equal to negative value of b is negative 2 x squared plus 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 2x squared plus 1 whole squared minus 4 times in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write this expression x to the power 4 plus x divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next 5 is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 2 x squared plus 1 plus or minus 
square root of now because the square of a negative number is always positive so this minus will be cancelled and 2x squared plus 1 whole squared is equal to 4x to the power 4 plus 4x squared plus 1 and this is negative 4 times x to the power 4 is negative 4x to the power 4 negative 4 times plus x negative 4x divided by 2 times 1 2 next 5 is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus or minus square root of this positive 4x to the power 4 will be cancelled out with this negative 4x to the power 4 and here we are left with this 4x squared minus this 4 times x 4 times x plus 1 divided by 2 x 5 is equal to 2 x squared plus 1 plus or minus square root of this 4 x squared minus 4 x plus 1 is equal to 2 x minus 1 whole squared divided by 2 now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with 5 is equal to 2 x squared plus 1 plus or minus 2 times x minus 1 divided by 2 now due to this plus minus uh, we get uh, two equations 5 is equal to 2x squared plus 1 plus 2x uh, minus 1 divided by 2 in the second equation 5 is equal to 2x squared plus 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 divided by 2 now from this equation 5 is equal to this positive 1 will be cancelled out with this negative 1 and here we are left with 2x squared plus 2 times x divided by 2 and 5 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left x squared plus x divided by 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we move this 5 to the right hand side then this equation will become x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to 0 now we solve this equation 5 is equal to 2x squared plus 1 due to this minus uh, this uh, positive 2x will become negative 2x and this uh, negative 1 will become plus 1 divided by 2 x 5 is equal to 2x squared this negative 2x negative 2x and 1 plus 1 will become plus 2 divided by 2 and 5 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left x squared minus x plus 1 divided by 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we subtract 5 from both sides then this equation will become x squared minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 now by solving this quadratic equation by quadratic formula we get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 21 divided by 2 
by solving this equation we get the value of x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 17 divided by 2. From this equation we get two values of x, x 1 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 21 divided by 2 and uh, x 2 is equal to negative 1 minus root 21 divided by 2. And from this equation we get the third value of x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 17 divided by 2 and uh, x 4 is equal to 1 minus root 17 divided by 2. Now, let us verify these values of x and see that uh, which values of x of them are the solutions. To verify we use uh, the two conditions. First one is x must be less than or equal to 5 and the second is x squared must be less than or equal to 5. The first condition is x must be less than or equal to 5 and the second is x squared must be less than or equal to 5. First we check this value of x1 negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2. This is uh, negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2 negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2 is less than 5. So, this condition is true. Now, we put this value in the second condition. This is negative 1 plus root 21 is same as root 21 minus 1 over 2 whole squared and is it less than or equal to 5. Now, this root 21 minus 1 whole squared is equal to root 21 squared plus uh, 1 squared minus 2 times root 21 times 1 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 5. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this 21 plus 1 is 22 minus 2 times root 21 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 5. Now, from here we multiply both sides of this inequality by 4. In this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4. And this uh, 5 times 4 will become 20. And this uh, 22 minus uh, 2 times root 21 is uh, less than 20. So, this condition is also true. So, this value of x 1 negative 1 plus uh, root 21 over 2 is a valid solution. Now, we check this uh, second value negative 1 minus uh, root uh, 21 over 2. This uh, negative 1 minus root 21 over 2 is less than 5. So, this condition is true. Now, in this second condition we put this value of x to negative 1 minus root 21 divided by 2 whole squared is it less than or equal to 5. Now, from this uh, numerator we can factor out negative sign negative as common and in bracket left 1 plus uh, root 21 divided by 2 whole squared is it less than or equal to 5. Now, because the square of a negative number is always positive, so this minus will be cancelled. And this 1 plus root 21 whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus root 21 squared plus 2 times root 21 times 1 divided by 2 squared is 4 is it less than or equal to 5. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and 21 plus 1 is 22. 
22 plus 2 times root 21 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 5. From here we multiply both sides by 4. This 4 will be cancelled out with this 4. In this uh, 5 times 4 will become 20. This uh, 20 plus uh, 2 times uh, root 21 is not less than 20. So, this condition is false. Means, uh, this value of x2 negative 1 minus root 21 over 2 is not a solution. Now, we check this uh, third value of x uh, 1 plus uh, root 17 over 2 is less than 5. So, this condition is true. Now, in this condition we put the value of x 1 plus root 17 over 2 whole squared is it less than or equal to 5. This 1 plus root 17 whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus root 17 squared plus 2 times root 17 divided by 4 is it less than or equal to 5. Now, this 1 squared is 1 and this square will be cancelled out with this square root. So, 1 plus 17 is 18 plus 2 times root 17 divided by 4. Is it less than or equal to 5? Now, if we multiply both sides by 4, then this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4. This 5 times 4 will become 20. This 18 plus 2 times root 17 is not less than 20. So, this condition is false. This solution is also rejected. Now, in the same way, if we check this fourth value of x 1 minus root 17 over 2, then this 1 minus root 17 over 2 is less than 5 and square of this 1 minus root 17 over 2 is also less than 5. So, this is a valid solution. So, we have two solutions of this equation.